Hey there, Japan fans. This is the Takeshita Street, and this is a 360 video. Try click on your mouse and scrolling on your screen, or just touching with your finger. And I figured uh, we've been talking about travel and going to places, so I thought maybe it would be fun if we could travel together. So we got this 360 camera, and I decided to take you around Takeshita Street in Harajuku, where the kawaii culture was born. So without further ado, let's go. Harajuku's Takeshita Street has recently been ranked as the most desired place to visit by tourists in Japan. Harajuku continues to broadcast its distinct fashion responsible for the kawaii or cute subculture. Oh look, over there there is a Neko Cafe or Cat Cafe. I love the cat with the hat, so fancy. Takeshita Street is Harajuku's shopping area and the narrow street is dotted with shops selling clothes distinctive of the Harajuku style. While the salon and Lolita styles are some of the most famous trends in Harajuku, it cannot be so specifically characterized into one particular style. The reason for this is that Harajuku style fashion is about remaking a particular fashion style and coordinating clothes in a particular way to your liking and expressing your individuality to the maximum through your fashion style. That store over there is Daiso, the Hyakuen shop similar to the $1 shops in the United States. It is amazing and it has three floors full of good quality but cheap products. Right now we are passing in front of a very interesting shop. It has some clothes with bunnies and cute things and I don't really understand what this thing is. This you can squish with your hands, and it's it's kind of popular here. You, you, they sell it everywhere, but I I really don't understand what it's for. Maybe it's just for stress. Harajuku is also famous for the rainbow cotton candy. It's a big cone of colorful cotton candy that you can enjoy while walking around. Did you see it? Whoa, check out the Harajuku styles. So many colorful things to wear and look cool. The prices are not so bad either. Oh man, look at those creeps! Let's talk a little bit about the creeps and purikura in Harajuku. It is said that the creep and purikura shop craze that spread throughout Japan first started on Takeshita Street. Purikura is the popular photo booths that are very popular among Japan's youth. The trend has even been exported to Thailand and Korea. There is a multitude of shops where you can take purikura in Harajuku which have cosplay clothing prepared for you to dress up in and take the pictures. In that place, well, it's the Ninja Sushi Toilet. No one can explain me why, but I guess it's just a Japanese thing.
there you go, more of the crazy and amazing Harajuku style. Just check that out! Now let's just enter this area to see what's over here. Many kawaii things to buy. Whoa, check out this underwear. Who wants a sumo wrestler underwear? Let me know in the comments. And now we go back to the street through this beautiful candy shop. Oh, look at that! There are some Pokemon. And just nearby, there is the Meiji Jingu Shrine. After visiting the craziness of Harajuku, I really recommend going there. It's a shrine in the middle of a forest, and it's like it has stopped in time. It's an amazing place, and the next 360 video will be there, so subscribe to the channel in order to not miss it. So this is the end of our ride today, we're going to many different places in other days and travel with you around Japan, so if you like this video please give us the like and rate our video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions about Japan or about Tokyo at all, you can go to the Planetize website or to the Planetize forum and ask us directly there and uh, locals and Japanese people and tour guides are going to reply to your questions with the best information and of course we're going to be replying to you and talking to you here in the comments section as well and if you enjoyed this video please share to your friends and all the information that you got from this video you can also get in the Planetize app which is pretty cool so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video bye bye